はーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーいはーおーよーよーっつまいバーフデイハッピーバーフデイマンあっ I think my lens is a little bit おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおいや、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、I've got a big issue with making jokes. I've got a big problem with being too funny. Can you explain those tweets? Oh, mods, you can keep the no, you can keep the long messages today. I think. Um, what? Like, uh, what the fuck did I tweet? Um, no, this one's the one that I didn't tweet. Um. Hold on. What the fuck was it? It was like she sooted my willy. She left me ashy or some shit. Because like soot has to do with ash, like carbon, but also ash is a member of Lovejoy. Um. Long story. She Tommied whilst I was in it. Shit left me straight. That's the only the only thing I can think about, Tommy. Um, sorry, Tom. She ran on my boot till it made me gay. That's wow. That's can we be serious? Let's get serious. Maxi G is being serious and real today. Ugh. Yo, hey. She averaged in my Harry. Shit left me crying. That's um, that's a, that's a deep underground average Harry law moment. Oh uh, hi, hi. Chat, did you miss me? Any Americans in chat miss my weekday streams? Yeah, I know, I know, I know you do. No, don't worry, it's fine. I want to drop out of university. What should I do? Um, firstly, you have to know what you want to drop out to do. But if you're like, this is real advice. This is serious. I'm, I'm actually going to be real today. Chat, if you're like one year away from finishing your education, I say just firm it. Like if you're in year 13 and you just started and you're like, I want to drop out of your sixth form. At that point, you're already halfway through. Like you've got a year left. Like you might as well. Or you're four years into your university degree and you have one year left. And you're like, you know, like you might as, you might as well. I, I, you might as well, you know. That's 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 real. I was talking to Johnny about taking a gap year, and that's what he said. Thank you for the 16 months. Welcome back. Uh, anyways, I've got a little Google form. I asked my Twitter. Twitter. Wow, you know, I really like it. days like these. I really need to not make jokes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I had a lot of I had a lot of jokes lined up about people on Twitter. Jess, thank you for the raid. Um 
I can't even show this Jess Mellow tweet because I'm doing a. Oh, I hate you! I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buzz out the, the, the word. What do you mean, Jess Mellow updates? What the fuck is your app? Hi, hi. Hold on. Is this really all that I've fallen to? Maxi G's is just. Hold on. Hold on, I, I have a thing I need to scribble out. Max G's has, has depleted to just being this. Oh, wow, that's not going to work. Hold on. That's also not... This is very embarrassing for me. I, you know, that should have been up on the screen like a second ago. It, I've, I've been... I'm, I'm down to being boy who cries is Italian and queer, deleting a tweet... And Blair and Yippee. Is that all I am? Really? That's all that I am. And, um, the covered word? Um, not today, boys. Not. Maxi G is being serious. Can we get some jokes in chat? Okay, maybe I'll actually get into being serious. Maybe I'll actually be serious. Yeah, I uh, put out a little form on Twitter. Um, the, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read uh, some of the the little topics that you guys gave me, and I thought I'd give you my insight because uh, Max G's maybe I'm a hero, you know? Maybe I am a hero. Maybe I I could be a doctor. If you're okay, last one I promise. One in chat. If you get into the surgery and it's me, you would still get the surgery. Uh, you guys see where it's uh, how it's gonna go today. Uh, I'm gonna be serious and then I'm gonna really badly make a joke about something because I'm incredibly stressed about fucking up everything that I say. First one, I didn't know I'd get into my problems so fast. Uh, this one says, have you ever dealt with imposter syndrome since you started streaming uh, and how do you deal with it? Much love, cool to see that you're doing this. Do you want to know I'm going to be truthful today. I'm actually going to tell you the truth. Um, every streamer that you watch, I mean, especially me, I have really, really, really bad imposter syndrome. But, like, everyone, everyone who's been given a platform like this is just, like, like, everyone has imposter syndrome. And for me, I get it really, really, really badly. I... Sometimes I could go live, I could average fucking 500 viewers, everyone calls me so funny, and I press, I end, I end my stream, and I sit there, and I'm like, firstly, I don't understand why people can find me funny, and secondly, I think that was all awful, you know? Like, I, and I sit there, and I'm like, I really, like, I really shouldn't be in this position, because I, I just don't think that, you know? And that's sadly something that everyone experiences uh, when they're really, uh, not when they're really popular. I mean, <laughs> I mean, when you're really popular like this. No, when you, you know, it's not like, it's not like real, almost. Um, uh, like, uh, like if you're, um, if you're like a stand-up comedian, you know, you say something and like, there's real people to react to it. Like, I say something, and as much as there are real people behind the screen reacting, it will never me account to anything more than if I tell a joke in real life and somebody laughs at it. It's It will never be the same, you know? Uh, because that's just how it is. Uh, imposter syndrome, by the way. Um, imposter syndrome is the uncomfortable uh, feeling you experience when you think you are unqualified and incompetent. You might look around and assume everyone knows they're doing what they're doing except for you and you achieve something good you'll chalk your accomplishments to good luck. Me I suffer with this very badly. Uh, actually though little little happy thing about this um, I have the the one thing that I'm really bad at is acknowledging that I'm creative. I think for a very very long time I was told that I wasn't creative and that 
you know, I mean, I'm not a creative guy um, in the normal sense, you know, I don't do art or make music or fucking dance or do any of like, you know, normal creative things. I don't act. I'm probably going to mute alerts today, uh, even though my fucking gifted sub alerts don't work for some reason. Um, but something that really made me smile yesterday is that a lot of people are like, oh my god, you have really cool stream ideas, right? People are like, you, your stream ideas are really cool. I'm like, I don't think so, man. You know, I, I think it's just, because I'm like, I'm really, I only compare myself to the absolute height of everything. If I'm not doing a stream that's like fucking Ludwig's Mogul Money Live every single day, incredible quality you know everyone's loving it i just every single day i'm like that was a bad idea and it's fucked what i was really happy about though yesterday um you know tommy he dm'd me and he was like this is a really sick idea and he was he, you know i don't know i think tommy is one of the more creative people in our sphere and i was like that's that's cool man you know like a cool creative person everyone knows this person is really creative and I was like, that's cool. And, uh, you know, it helped a little bit. But every single day, I, you know, everyone suffers with imposter syndrome really badly. Like, dude, especially people, I probably don't want me to say this, but people from the Dream SMP uh, get it really, really badly uh, because the Dream SMP is like, dude, you join the Dream SMP and suddenly you're like a fucking like everyone knows who you are for some reason like it's like a weird like like glitch in the system where you join the dream smp bang you're a 10k andy or whatever and for like that's really really bad blowing up like that is fucking horrible and uh you know a lot of people face that sadly that's uh that's re should i really be playing the slat and no and can we talk about so fuck i'm making a joke again should i shut the fuck up but no now I'm going to tell you my joke. Fuck you. Fuck you in the mental health stream. Dude, Tommy DM'd me. He was like, this is a sick idea. I was like, thanks, man. Um, I need help with YouTube sometimes, by the way. Can you add me on Discord? Do you know how embarrassing this is? It's been 22 hours and he hasn't replied. I just wanted a little bit of help. This is embarrassing as fuck. This guy's posted six times on his Instagram story, met Saikuno and half of Among Us on Twitch, and he still hasn't replied to my fucking ad on this. I wanted to add him. I, w I was just going to add him. Turns out he's too popular to receive friend request. Next one. Next one. Next one. Um. <clears throat> stress in school. Oh, everyone has it. Um, something I'm not very open to you guys, chat, is that he knows your existence. I know Tommy knows about my existence. We fucking ate lunch together. Sorry. I know. We ate lunch together. It was awesome. He just aired my DM. That was it. I'm still going to be a cunt, I've realised. Um, uh, stress in school. Something I don't really talk about, guys, is that I, as much as as much as much I seem like a incredibly intelligent bloke, um, because I got, I got nice GCSE grades, my parents really, really pressured me when I was younger. And they were really like, you need to get good grades. This is the only thing that matters in your life. But, um, especially when I moved to the UK, they were like, this is like, you need to do well in this. You have to. Um, all of my family is like really traditional like that. And they were like, you need to fucking do well. And that's that's like that's like the big like problem for me is that a lot of the time it's like, my strategy is I need to study like a lot. And I, and during school, um, because obviously, the best way to deal with stress is to give yourself a reward after work. That's the, that's, that's like, that's like the thing, right? You know, easy, give yourself a reward, boom, you're getting A stars in all of your exams. My reward, very simple. I get to go live, and suddenly, um, I'm streaming, uh, and people, 
love me. So I'm like, okay, that's an easy reward. The only problem is I need to do all the work before the reward. So I spend like a lot. I, I don't, I don't like at school anymore. Now that I'm in sixth form, you know, the study periods that they give you. I mean, as much as I'm a sociable guy, I literally just study like, like fucking like grind, like maths, a level and all my fucking a levels. Cause I'm like, dude, I want to get home and I want to stream. And so Truly, the best way to cope with stress is to give yourself something that you can look forward to that is almost dependent on your work ethic. Uh, work ethic is something that happens to everyone. Uh, you know, everyone that struggles with work ethic, but as long as you're, you know, giving yourself something there, that's like there, and you're like, you know, yes, I can go home and watch the new Tom Simon's vlog and where he harasses the public again. Yes! But I need to finish Algebra 2. You know... That's like a, that's like a normal reward. Yeah. Yeah, there's your um, Max G's how to cope with stress. Um, yeah, and also, chat, this is the, um, this is the real thing. As much as academic success dictates your path in life, don't let, don't let it be everything about you. I used to be a little, I used to be a little school guy. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I'm, I'll tell you here, I'm really good at school, you know? I got, in my, in my GCSEs, I got 89 in my, in my, in like my combined grades out of 11 exams. I, I, I learned something, that's like an average of like an A star, okay? Like I'm, I'm good at school. Um, but like, I don't care, <laughs> you know, because I went into the, I went to get my grades and I was like, okay, but this won't affect what I like to do. I don't care, you know, a nine in English fucking literature. I don't care that Macbeth sliced someone's fucking head off or whatever. And then half the poems are about fucking men being weird. I don't give a fuck because I'm going to go home and stream and fucking Tubbo's gonna challenge me to a boxing match again. Like, honestly, it doesn't matter, you know? Uh, as long as you have the sufficient things to get past to the next stage, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Grades don't really mean anything uh, in the grand scheme of things. No one's, you're never gonna meet someone or ever go on a date and they're gonna be like, dude, what the fuck did you get in your geography GCSE? And then they're like, and you're like, oh man, I, I, I only got a four and they go bang bang like they don't give a fuck no one cares about your GCSE grades and it doesn't matter I'm telling you as long as you get over it like no one gives a fuck I'm like seriously No one cares uh, as long as you keep yourself to a standard where you can pass on to the next level. That's all that it means How to talk to new people and make new friends. You're talking to the right guy here. Maxi Jews, as much as he seems like a aff no, affluent's the right word. Amicable person who everybody is friends with, um, I really struggle making friends because I get really, really anxious about the first impression that I make on everyone. Okay? That's like my thing. That's I get really, really worked up over my first impressions, and so like, when I went to Toby's house for a subathon, I was like, oh my fucking god. If I'm not funny today, it's over. I'm never gonna... Like, this guy that I think is pretty cool, that has just invited me to his house to stream with him. If I go over there and I fucking fold, that's it. You know? I'm not gonna be... I'm, we're never gonna get past the streamer phase into being mates. And the truth is, and this is the greatest advice ever... If you look like you're meant to be somewhere, people won't question it. A false sense of confidence. If you're confident in front of in front of every adversity that comes to you, and even at some points if it fails, the likeliness is 
it's going to work. Today, I went to the fucking Royal Opera House, which by the way, I mean Backwatch, the Queen is dead, and they didn't have a fucking banner outside the Royal Opera House. They don't care. I went to the Royal Opera House today, and they went, can I check your bag? And I went, okay. And I walked in, and I walked to the fucking balcony on the fourth floor. No one gave a shit, because I looked like I was meant to be going to the fourth balcony with John A. Because I walked in and I was like, yeah, like I had open, but I, I, I was like, the body language is good. I was like, you know, I'll just go in there. Um, and also something that really helps is knowing what you're going to say. Everyone does it where you're like, oh my God, you know, I'm going to meet someone tomorrow, such and such and such. And like you play all these like scenarios um, for me, it's always the the funny one. That's like my problem. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm a I'm a funny guy. Yeah, what a problem. Suffering from success. So just like know something that you're gonna say, so you don't fuck it up. Is the is is the, is a good way to start it. And um, really easy things. Find out what people like people that you want to befriend like, and know their name. That's that's like the that's like the two easy ones. Should I really be playing music? I had a song that I was looping in my mind that I really wanted to play it, and I don't remember the name of the song. So, Maxi Juju's is going to... Maxi Juju's is going to play the the Quabby 2 ending soon, but the old one, not the new one, if I can find it in my playlist. No, that's Spongebob. I don't think that's appropriate. I think people will get angry at me if I play Spongebob. How do I do the four? If you look on Twitter, it's on my alt Twitter. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to all the topics, but Max G's, um, dare I say it, I'm a pretty good guy. I'm a, I'm, I'm a hero, people might call me. Uh, I'm incredible, so I'm going to give incredible advice to absolutely everyone and everything. Here you go. <clears throat> Next one. Let me find you a good one. Insecurities. Oh, this one's easy. This one's easy. Insecurities are like, like the, the most normal thing ever. Like everyone gets insecurities. Like no one gives a fuck. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. People, you're gonna be like, Oh, dude, like I, oh, of course, everyone gets them. And I, you know, for fucking months, covered my face with fucking makeup because I was breaking out every day. And I was like, okay. But like, at the end of the day, someone sees you and they, they, maybe, maybe, maybe just maybe, they're like, they see something about you and they're like, and suddenly they've spotted your insecurity. And you're like, fuck, it's over. No one is ever going to tell you because no one, like, no one does that. Like, actually, no one does that. And the truth is, the likelihood that they're going to pick up on something that you don't like about yourself is so, like, incredibly slim. Like, dude, so many people are like, I'm so insecure about, I don't fucking know, the length, like, the length of my fucking fingers. Who the fuck is looking at your fingers? Or any, like, take it in any other way about anything else. No one is critiquing you about every single thing that you do every second about your life. Uh, unless, um, unless, uh, unless they do, but that's different. But, like, dude, everyone has insecurities. Uh, I promise you it's a shared thing. And also, a lot of people overanalyze themselves. Uh, this is the way that I uh, uh, found the bug fix to this one. Oh, I look at this picture too much and suddenly I look ugly. If you post the picture before inspecting it, um you're not going you're not going to see it like that. Oh, it's already been seen by people. Oh, well you have to keep it up now. You know? I post a picture on my alt Twitter. I promise you, this is how I take my pictures. Look. I just do that because the truth is 
the more that you analyze yourself, the more that you're going to dig yourself in this rabbit hole about insecurities. And it's not... It's not good. And everyone suffers from them. And, um... You're fine. Insecurities are like a like a normal thing. Like you shouldn't you shouldn't be scared to have insecurities about things. Oh, this one's so easy. When I streamed, I was so happy, but now it seems like an obligation. Change it. Find something else that you like in streaming and do that. How do you open up to friends about the things that you're struggling with? Uh, I like, I like, I need help and support, but I don't want to annoy them. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm not gonna tell you. I was gonna start it off. Well, firstly, you get a person like me who's a little nosy cunt. Uh, but the truth is, a lot of people, everyone doesn't like. No one, no one's gonna shame you for dropping your problems on them because. Your problems to you are a lot more important to you than they are to them. Like, I go to Scott Post, and I'm like, Scott Post, oh, I didn't make enough money this month. And he'll be like, okay. And then he'll be like, how are you going to fix this? And I'll be like, you know, but like, he's not going to go to fucking John A and go, Max Jesus didn't make enough money this month, and he's a fucking freak, and I hate him. Because their problems are things that people discuss with, like, if you tell someone something, they're going to discuss it with you. They're not, like, people aren't going to go and shame you for something that it's clearly something that's important to you. But also, Max G's word of advice, make sure to tell things to people. Like, if you need support from someone, tell it to people that you can trust. Don't tell people things when you're like, oh, are they going to go and rat me about these things? A lot of people do that. A lot of people, as long as there's someone, maybe if they've told you something about themselves first, maybe that's like a good standard. Max GG's, um, my standard for when I trust people is if I've slept in the same house as them and they haven't axe murdered me, they're, they're probably okay, you know? Take people that you can trust and that you're not a burden for telling people about problems of yours. You know, if you if you're like a balloon, you keep pumping air into yourself and you're like, fuck, this is my problem and 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 this is my problem. At one point, you're gonna fucking burst because there's too much pressure inside of you and you're like, fuck, oh my god, dude, ah! But if you like, if you're like a whoopee cushion, there's something fucking wrong with me. If you're like a whoopee cushion, and every once in a while you go, uh, uh, you know, it's the, the pressure's never gonna build up, and therefore you'll never explode and you know get all fucking. Uh. Sorry, sorry, that's my analogy for that one. Is it easier to be popular in high school? Dude, I don't know, but the easiest way to do it is befriend everyone. You're not, you're not popular if you're friends with everyone, but if you're friends with everyone, you're definitely doing good. You know, if, you, if, you're, if you're going around, and like, not like, not like I'm besties with the fucking person who sits next to me in economics, but like, they, I, I complimented their shoes once. And I know their name and what classes they take. And like, you know, we're like mutual acquaintances. As long as like, as long as like you're, you, no one hates you. No one has like this grudge about you because you like, essentially just treat people like, okay. And they'll be like, this guy's okay. You know, be nice to everyone. Not even be nice to everyone. I'm not nice to everyone. How, why, how in God's fucking green earth am I going to be friends with John A if every day I go live and rinse him? But, like, you know, build that relationship with people where, like, you know, like, you're, you're like, alright, like, your pals. Like, if you're pals, then it's chill. Do you get anxious in school? If yes, how do you deal with it? Um, I've been anxious in school, but from school? Uh, no, yeah, I guess 
um, maybe not the best philosophy. I'm just like a guy who thinks thinks about like, you know, this exam. I have this massive exam. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. But then I'm like, it's I do this for two hours, and the next twenty two hours of my day have nothing to do with the exam. Like there, things like that shouldn't like like school shouldn't be something that's puppeteering your life. Um, yeah, it's good to be to be worried about something because that shows that you care about it. But you shouldn't constantly be going, oh my god, even after it because. At that point, you've already shot the bullet. Like you're not, you don't have another chamber to keep shooting. Like you don't have another try. So why are you getting yourself held up on things that they don't exist anymore to you? Like you know, this maths exam, you've done it. You've already shot the bullet. You finished the exam. Now you have an empty mag. You don't. The, the maths exam quota doesn't exist anymore for you. You know. And uh, for like normal anxiety, uh, just drink a lot of water. Uh, you know, the breath exercises, as cringe as they are, they work, you know? They definitely work. And also, you know that psychological thing where, like, if you look in a mirror and you smile for long enough, you'll, like, you know, be kind of happy? Uh, that kind of works, too. That's, like, that's, like, that's, like, good. That's, I used to do that a lot when I was nervous and anxious. Struggling to exist when people have expect so much from you. I understand this one. Guys, you're talking to Max GG's known incredible man. Okay, very popular. A lot of people expect a lot of things from me all the time. Uh, the truth is, it's okay to, like, not fulfill everything that everyone wants all the time. You know? Like, it's okay. Like, some days, I don't feel like streaming, and I'm just like, I'm not gonna stream. You know? As much as Mstreams is sitting there at 6.30 in a mod call for some fucking reason with my mods, if I go, I'm not streaming today, Mstreams, they'll care for a minute and then be like, I'm gonna play MCC Island now, and then they won't fucking care. And the truth is that you can let someone down for a little bit, but then they won't care like that. Like, like it's not something like expectations. Of course, you want to meet them because you want to feel good about yourself. But it's not like, like if you don't meet an expectation, it's not the end of the world. Obviously, you should have priorities about things that are important to you. Uh, like if I, if I, if I'm doing a charity stream and I've not met the expectation about doing the fucking charity stream, maybe I'm a bad guy. But if it's about Oh, handing in your work. Maybe you handed it an hour, an hour late. You know, there's ways around that. You know, email the teacher. You're like, oh, you know, my, my work's a little bit late. I hope that's okay. They'll be like, you know, this person clearly, like, they need a little extension. Like, it doesn't matter, you know. The, the teacher, they might scold you in class, but they don't go home telling their six-year-old because why do all fucking English teachers get fucking pregnant? I don't understand. But they go to their six-year-old and they're like, this child in my class didn't submit their fucking Macbeth essay. The child's gonna sit there and go, I don't fucking care because they don't tell the children because the expectations, like they, you don't meet the expectation and it's not the end of the world. That's the truth. Take it a little bit of the time and you'll, um, at the end of the day, you'll, you'll make it out fine. Any advice on handling school whilst having a life outside of it? So, no, <laughs> no, yeah, of course. Um, I don't know what's like fucking with Fossa. Uh, sorry if your message gets auto timed out. Uh, Fossa, you know, I haven't changed my little commands and stuff, so uh, sometimes it just does that. Um, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with your message usually, unless there is, uh, which you know maybe you should think about that before you do it, but. Uh, yeah. You know, give yourself, like, a healthy, like, a, you know, if you, if you go to a restaurant, you're like, I'm gonna order these things because you know you can eat them. 
You should do the same thing with school. You're like, I'm going to take these classes and do this amount of work because I know I'm biting enough for me to be able to chew and swallow. And then I can go home and I'm not shitting my brains out. Fucking, why do I always... Just bite off enough as you can chew. You know, don't... Don't like... Don't like... Get all this, like, work on top of you. I dropped further maths this year. I'm sure a lot of you guys know, I fucking love maths. And further maths was taught by my favourite teacher I've ever been taught by, ever. And he looked at me when I told him I wanted to drop the subject, and he was visibly sad. And he was like, man, I really wanted to take the subject. But, like, at the end of the day, it's better for me. I'm going to be able to go home and not cry myself to sleep over economic, uh, over further maths work. Because... I can go home and, you know, spend some time with my friends or do something. Like, as long as you have enough where, like, you're okay, I can divide this and keep it separate from everything else. Um, you'll be okay. Her mass is so hard. Yeah, if I was a streamer, I would have taken it, though. I would have liked it. How to stay focused on your GCSEs and not stress as much. Everyone stresses for their GCSEs, uh, so you shouldn't be too worried about that. Uh, to stay focused, this is the Max G's philosophy, and it won't work for everyone because some people, you know, struggle to focus in class and stuff. But, like, if you're someone who's capable of focusing and you, you know, you're like, okay, you know, this is something I can do, listening in class will do you everything more than like, like, like going home and studying, you know? If someone teaches something to you, like you're gonna remember it more than if you teach it yourself because you're being told it. So if you're there and you're like, oh my God, I'm in class right now, but I'm really stressed about revising. If you listen to class now, maybe revising won't be as difficult later. Maybe you won't have to do as much, you know? Uh, the lessons are there to teach you. So if you if you're capable of focusing, focus. That's that's like important. That's what I did. I I'm gonna be honest with you. And you know I got a bit lucky because to me like things stick into my brain like that. But everyone's always like you need to learn all these English texts. I didn't study one fucking poem, and I didn't read any of the book outside of school. I went home and streamed some fucking. VIP or ban horse shit when I got home before my English exam because I was like I've listened in class enough where I'm like okay at basically everything as long as you're okay you're like okay you know it's like chill it's fine you'll do fine as long as you you know you're you're taking it in the first time and you're not like you know slipping too much you'll be like a, like all right Struggled with my sexuality for a while. I don't know who I am. Um, <laughs> if you do bad, you literally just have to charge it. So. <laughs> Average Harry says, just firm it. There you go. Struggled with my sexuality for a while. I don't know who I am anymore. Um... It doesn't matter. Sexuality is something built by people for people. But for you, like, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I sit there and I'm going to be, this is the most honest I'm ever going to be about my sexuality online. Some days I go, I go home and I sit there and I'm sad and I'm like, what if I'm a fucking fraud? You know, what if I'm like, dude, what if I'm fucking straight? And people are like gonna hate me. What if? What if it's like that? What? If, what if it isn't like that? And then some days I see a I see a fucking picture of like an androgynous person or like a man, and I'm like, oh my god, that's someone I want to go out with. And you know, the truth is, nobody like nobody. I'm sure. I'm sure. If that it I it's never ever gonna happen. But if I if I go back and I tell you guys. Yeah, I was wrong about my sexuality. Like, as much as people will be disappointed, they won't hate you. People, a lot, this happens a lot with, um, I know lesbians have this a lot. 
um, if you come out as bisexual because you're like, oh my god, you have this pressure about loving men, and then you're like, oh my god, I'm a lesbian, and you go to someone, you're like, I'm a lesbian, not a bisexual. They won't care. Like it's no, it's no diff. As much as they're like, oh my god, you don't like men and like whatever, you can't have your own child. Or who gives a fucking shit about that shit? Like people aren't gonna go. Like it's something in passing. It will, you'll, it will happen. You know, some people, sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes you're confused. And that's always going to happen about your sexuality because it's so, like, it, people put so much pressure on it. It's, it's like, all right. It's all right to be, like, in not in the know. And some days you'll feel completely against something. And some days you'll feel so for something. And it doesn't matter. Is the truth. Shut the fuck up. Something is cracked. What up, man? Made your Twitch account on the 25th of December, 2021. So I'm happy that your parents gave you your first laptop at age 13. I'm sure you love logging onto Twitch and watching fucking Nick A30 because you're a f you Dude, shut the fuck up, man. You get on Twitch, you're like, my parents just got me this laptop for Christmas. I'm so happy. It runs like shit. No one cares. And you type like shit in fucking Twitch chats. Shut the fuck up and go and judge someone who's doing something that's detached from real things. Okay, you could have come tomorrow and I would have been so nice to you. And I would have checked your Twitch following. And we would have made fun that you watch fucking XQC every day whilst he breaks up with his girlfriend on stream. You're 13 years old and all you do is sit and play Skywars in your room all day. Shut the fuck up. Constant pressure of what people think of you. Everyone else is insecure around you. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Like, that's... Like, you'll be like, oh my god, everyone thinks that I look bad today. But everyone else thinks that they look bad today. That's like... Okay, this is a really bad analogy. But you know nude beaches? Okay? A nude beach... Like, the whole philosophy of it is that you go there and you're naked and you're like, oh my god, everyone's gonna judge me, but everyone's naked, so no one's judging you. That's like the- that's like the whole thing. That's like the same thing as, like, being insecure. There's like- like, they're essentially the same thing, like, genuinely. You're exposing yourself like that at a nude beach. You're exposing yourself when you go outside and people are going to judge you, but people are so worried- and in, like stressed about themselves that they're not they're not going around like caring like that you know right message wrong example yeah but you're gonna remember this if i told you the normal thing you wouldn't fucking be as 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 interested about it i'm right you scum they have nude supermarkets in germany is that real Maybe I shouldn't be looking this up, but... German customers shop nude for free groceries. It turns out, people will almost do anything for free food. Shopping Germany let it, lets it all hang loose. And I'm not reading anything else. Why the fuck would you describe it like that? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what reporter starts their fucking article like that? Holy shit. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. Oh, back to being serious. Working through social anxiety. I'm not a guy with social anxiety. I'm gonna be honest. Um, thanks, Harry, man. I've never had social anxiety, uh, but I know a lot of people that do. And truthfully, um, you take it bit by bit. Like it's n like like social like social anxiety is like a fucking staircase that never ends. Okay, but. At first, you're like, you know, go to this person, you say hi to them. Bang. You shouldn't be saying hi and describing your whole life to them, making a new friend, 
bringing them out for drinks, you know, going home, going to the cinema with this person, like, it, and maybe I'm making a wrong analogy about this, but you should take things in steps, because if you struggle with something, that's always how it is, you know? Um, and I don't have social anxiety, as I told you, but like, you know, at one point, you've said hi to enough people after, you know, building up the courage for that, it's not easy, uh, where the next time you say hi to someone, you say, hi, how are you? You know? And you'll do that a million times. And then a million times, uh, you'll give a response. And blah, 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 uh, to, until you get to a point where, you know, maybe you're still socially anxious. But there's, like a, like a, like a decent, like you have quite a catalog, a catalog like that, you know? I think. I think that's like, I think that's good advice. I, I maybe I'm wrong, but... I do that a lot with, um, with streaming, uh, maybe this is a bad example, but as you guys can tell, I'm a bit of a fucking moron, okay, and I make a lot of jokes about a lot of things, um, but, like, if I go on someone's stream for the first time, I'm, like, really closed off, and I don't really, like, I don't really, I'm not, like, my normal self, because, like, I'm testing the waters, I'm, like, okay, and, like, you slowly, like, you know, stretch the mold a little bit and you're like okay i can do say these things i can say these things and you know i think it's similarly like that where like you know you have to loosen it a little bit uh slowly over time instead of you know if i went on someone's stream today and i jumped in there and i made a joke about the like okay that's really wow that's okay really what poorly timed uh, as of recent if i go and i make a joke about the vaccine mandate on Tommy and his stream when we streamed together for the first time and he doesn't like that I'm done but if I make a joke about him and being in the dream SP, he won't give a fuck and that's like slowly you build that relationship with people you know um so I think it's a similar thing uh yeah stuff like that where you just take it slowly Hey Max, it would be so great if you could talk about OCD. I don't know how much you know about it, but it doesn't get talked about enough. Sometimes it's hard to the point that you can't do anything without the stupid voice in your head telling you that you will die if you don't do something four times. Um, wow. Uh, this, I don't know if it's OCD. I mean, I've never been diagnosed for anything, uh, but that's something I really badly used to struggle with. Like, seriously, badly. Like, really, really badly. Uh, in... 2017 my house got broken into whilst i was in it and this triggered like a flurry of like it made me really anxious you know uh suddenly i'd like like the the rose tinted glasses i'd completely lost them with life i was like oh my god people in this world are bad like there are bad people that want to break into my house and they they want to you know hurt things and they want to steal things and they you know, they, they, there's bad people in this world. And that sent me into, like, a really bad, like, oh, my God, anxious state. And that led me to every single day, if I didn't check my locks three times, uh, my fucking parents are going to die. You know, I I call my I used to call my parents in, like, intervals that were set by my own mind because I was like, oh, my God, I need to call them. What if, the, what if my fucking parents are dead? Like, dude, they're going to die if I don't call them and make sure that they're okay and stuff. And I used to get that really, 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 really badly. Like, like I don't know how to explain this to you, that it would, like, puppeteer everything that I do. Seriously. Um, I don't know when I, like, really, like, get over it. I got over it. But, uh, and obviously, I know you can't get over OCD. Um... And sadly, it's something that you really have to live with. I don't, I'm not really sure, like, how to help with OCD or anything. Uh, you know, hopefully, me having a similar experience will kind of, like, you know, help you understand that a lot of people go through it. Uh, but, and I don't think, it, I'm not diagnosing myself with OCD or anything. Uh, it could be a fucking world of things. But, you know, it's something you're going to have, you're going to have to live with. And sadly, that's the truth. And, you know, some people will take that badly. Some people will take that well. They'll be like, okay, that's fine. Um, but, you know, you're gonna have to find your ways to do it, 
and uh, try and diminish it as much as possible maybe try and keep bad things out of your mind uh try and distract yourself like dude if i played fucking hypixel suddenly my parents aren't dying if i don't close the door three times sorted i'm gonna i'm gonna play hypixel and watch tapel and they're not gonna have a fucking clue you know uh so distract yourself a little bit and just know that uh, sadly, it's something, you know, you're probably gonna have to live with forever. Uh, but yeah. That's, like, my only uh, real take on that. I really want to separate myself from my friends because they don't make me happy, but I don't want to be alone. If you can make a big enough friend group like that, you can probably drop everything and make a new friend, you know? I... I've done that a million times. I've moved house like seven times in my life. I've been transferred through schools, through countries, like fucking back and forth and back and forth in years. The truth is, if you already have those skills where you're like, okay, I have all these people that I'm always talking about or talking to, the chances are there's going to be another person around you. If you stop everything and you've never spoken to them, they're going to, you know, strung up a conversation with you. Uh, and also, if you hate all your friends, then fucking drop them. Because I used to hate a lot of people that I used to hang out with. And I dropped them, and they made me a lot happier. I'm gonna be honest with you. How can you deal with the feeling that you're so clearly different from everyone around you, either due to mental illness or neurodivergencies, and you will never truly fit in, leaving you in constant loneliness? Um, I'm not diagnosed with any mental illnesses <laughs> or uh, neurodivergent, uh, but I can give a little bit of advice about this one. I have a lot, uh, like a lot of friends. You'd be surprised that like, a lot of content creators turn out to be uh mentally ill or turn out to have uh neurodivergencies because dude that shit makes you fucking awesome like i'm gonna be honest maybe i'm going on a offside tangent but like okay a lot of people don't like him and i think he's a he's not a great guy uh miskiff but you're gonna have you have to give it to him miskiff is a good fucking streamer like at its core if you take all the drama out of it and him being a bad person and bad past at, him, at his core, Miskiff is an incredible entertainer. And the truth is, he wasn't always an incredible entertainer. He was on fucking... Uh, and, you know, if you have ADHD medications and it works well with you, uh, go for it. But he was on, like, horrible ADHD medication. I watched the video about it. And, you know, it just, like, ruined his creativity. Like, the truth is that if you're neurodivergent or you're mentally ill, like, it doesn't... Like, you're, you're sick. Like, like you... <laughs> okay, sick is... The I'm sorry, slag. You're awesome. Like, like that's that's cool. Like sometimes I sit there and I'm like, say, and I know that like stuff like hyperfixation is really like 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 sit on people. Like like in you know it doesn't really work well with um like uh like you know obviously it really impacts your life. But like you know in some ways I think there are, like like hyperfixations and stuff. I think those are like I think that's like a really cool like like. Like, that you're able to think in, a, like, a different way. Like, I think, like, you just need to surround yourself with people that understand. A lot of people around me are, especially neurodivergent, like, like, a, like, like, I get it. And, like, as long as you surround yourself with people that get it, like, if you're, if you have, like, really bad autism or ADHD, and you make a friend that has really bad autism or ADHD, or that understands people that have autism or ADHD, you're like, like, someone gets you. Like, that's important to have people that, like, understand, like, your, you know, and, like, completely detaching from this, people that, like, have really bad things happen to them in life. Uh, you know, I don't know, like, really traumatic experiences. Like, if you make some a friend that's also been through these traumatic experiences, they'll understand. You know, they'll, like, like, they, they'll get it. And you'll you'll make a friend over the like bad things that happen in your life, and the same thing is like you just like the truth is you're never lonely because you'll have to like just surround yourself with people that get it. Honestly, seriously, uh, I'm not gonna go with the with the with the 
nitty gritty of which of my friends are mentally ill or neurodivergent or you know mix of both but like just get people that get you and it will like you're not alone in the struggles that you have like that like people like there there's always going to be someone out there who's depressed or you know has suicidal thoughts is anxious is fucking um like neurodivergent you know has had all these uh traumatic events in their life there's always going to be someone out there that is the same as you in your differences you know you're not alone in having that kind of problem and you know as much as also you shouldn't really see it as a problem i i think that you know some of the absolute coolest people especially with uh you know mental illness it's more more so of something that you struggle with but like neurodivergence is like dude like so many of the fucking coolest people in this world are neurodivergent like so many of my like the people i look up to the absolute most in this world are and that doesn't matter like it honestly doesn't people like you shouldn't shield yourself for things that you can't do instead understand that being different makes you capable at things that other people can't do like that's that's like a, that's a good like that's that's awesome seriously um especially with streamers i get like a dude so many fucking neurodivergent streamers are so awesome uh especially what uh one that i'll mention aimsy um i think aimsy's way of streaming is really cool and i took a lot of like uh you know way off of it um like people always used to people used to shit on aimsy a lot blah blah, blah adhd whatever like dude that makes aimsy's streams so fucking cool in my opinion like dude it's awesome like seriously that's 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 the best way i can put it Motivation with school, I feel burnt out and I procrastinate a lot. I literally feel so safe here. <laughs> no, it's fucking over. I'm gonna go live tomorrow, send six death threats to my viewers, make fun of half my chat, and suddenly you're not feeling safe here anymore. I'm sorry, this is not this is not usual. This is the one and probably only Max G safe stream that you'll ever receive ever. I'm so sorry. I really am. This is uh, I'm like the, the the biggest hater in the world. <clears throat> sorry. Um I'm someone who has that thing where it's like, you know, people that are like gifted kids that burn out and suddenly you love watching Dream SMP for some fucking reason. Um, a lot of people that are like gifted from a, like, a, like I, you know, I've told you I'm really good at maths. I'm like, you know, not to suck my own fucking dick, but like, I'm, 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 I was good at maths when I was younger. Like I was really good. Like I used to go, um, I was like, in one of the best schools in my city and like dude i i wouldn't even think or study and i'd beat these people and suddenly at one point i didn't care anymore it i it didn't matter anymore like at all i was like oh my god i don't care about doing all the having all this academic stuff because burnout is something that happens to everyone and the truth is that you just need to take a break you shouldn't be pressuring yourself so much uh okay maybe like after an exam period you shouldn't be like oh my god i need to get back to revising suddenly because i need to go back to my exam period that's in six months and i'm like oh my fucking god suddenly i need to uh, top myself in the last exam even though i got 100 percent. you can't like if you're doing really well take your time you know especially if you're burnt out burning out means that you're good like that like i'm being said if you burn out on things it means that you know you don't have so much to learn you're just you don't want to do it anymore uh, or like you don't want to do this take a break and come back because burning out is temporary but like you, you still have like like a, like something there you know like it will, it will come back. You shouldn't be worried about burning out. You should be just taking a little bit of time for yourself. You know. 
I get but okay. I'll tell you, I get burnt out so fucking much. I go live some days and I'm like, dude, I don't want to fucking do this. And apart from the fact I'm actually fucking insane and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go live today and make jokes about the queen dying and people will find me funny and I won't feel as burnt out anymore, which is like my weird way of coping. But look, dude, I feel burnt out all the time. And sometimes I take breaks because I'm like, I can't do this today. And that's okay. And I, you come back after a while and you're like, I'm good at this again. You'll be fine. What do you do when you feel constantly out of time? I'm out of, I'm not out of time, but I always feel like I am. Um, this sounds, this is really cliche, but really live life like it's, like to the fullest, like that. And make sure to time manage. Those are the two important things. Some days you're like, I might be cutting it close, going out, and then coming home and revising. But if you're if you're not going out, you've wasted that time which would have been running out on doing nothing instead of maybe enjoying yourself and maybe, you know, maybe suffering the consequences later. But if you're never taking a chance on doing, like, getting proactive, like, like, getting up and, like, going to do something. Like, I, that, I do that a lot with YouTube videos where I'm like... I've already run out of time to make YouTube videos because everyone around me is so popular and good at YouTube and like, okay, I'm a good streamer. I'm not a good YouTuber, but everybody else around me is bagging millions of views in a day and I'm like, oh my God, I'm running out of time to meet that quotient. But if you don't, if you never like get the, the like you never put your foot in, how the fuck are you meant to finish the marathon, you know? Um, that's, that's the best advice I can, I can give for that. What do you do when you get rejected by a, a, a Valorant player? Go outside! No one cares that you want to pocket Sage for someone because they're all creeps on the internet! Go the fuck outside. You're probably stuck in silver. You're dog shit at Valorant. And nobody gives a fuck that you can place a sage wall because you learnt a lineup from VTC. Go outside and get a job. We're IRLs. Stop. How do you find motivation to basically do anything, especially schoolwork? I told you earlier, just give yourself like a reward. Like find something that you actually want to do, like not fictitiously want to do, like play video game. Maybe that's yours. But like if you really want to do something, set yourself a bar where you're like, I can't do this until I've done this uh, for schoolwork stuff. And you know, then you're like chilling, I think. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna find one. Okay, I've spoken about this. I've spoken about this. It's raining outside? Where are you being real? Hold on. Whoa, it's fucking dark. It's not raining. Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm so used to it being light outside during my stream times. I just miss... I miss when the sun would shine through my curtains in July. Hold on. Yo. Sorry. That was my mum coming into my room.
Sorry, mother again. I'm going to find something and I'm going to read it. Um. Sometimes I feel like I'm just not good at enough at something. How do you slowly get past that mindset? Um, do things which show results. If you're like, I want to be a Twitch affiliate. Average three three viewers for the first day, and you're like, you know, maybe I am good enough to become a streamer. Like, take your little steps, but make sure that there's something uh, achievable every once in a while that you can achieve, and it's a reminder that you're like, okay, I can do this. What the fuck just happened? Hold on. <laughs> um, that was my fucking monitor. That wasn't. Uh. Um. Okay. 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 That's cool. That was my whole monitor. Interesting. Very interesting. Um. Now, what have I done to fuck this? Up? Holy shit, I think I fixed it. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you fucking hear that? I mean, come on. Oh, oh, he's back. Oh, he's back. Oh, I fixed my monitor because I am a hero. Uh, this person said, I have no IRL friends. How do I make them Baba? I'm not answering your fucking question uh, because of that. Uh, wow. I was, I was going to be meaner, but I decided not to be. Hello, Lulu. How to accept a support system and start recovering. It's so scary to be honest with the people I love. Do you know, getting that is like, it's like hard, you know? It's like, I, I understand that. Because everyone has this as much, okay. Apart from the fact that a lot of people like don't want to do that. A lot of people have like this, like in self-inflicted pride where you're like, you know, I'm bad if I go and get help about something. Dude, the most, like, 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 there are people who need, like, get help systems that, like, it's, like, it's, that are, like, the most prideful people in the world, or, like, people get help, you know, maybe it's not as serious as yours, but, like, the truth is, getting help isn't bad. And like a lot, a lot of times you see it in school where you're like, dude, I don't want to ask this question because what if I look dumb? They're there to help you. People are there because they want to see you thrive. It's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay to not be okay. Um, like supporting it, like, like, like it's all right. You know, it's all right to need help sometimes. Like, okay, that's not the right song choice, but like. Dude, even like small things, like needing, I need help with streaming sometimes. And I'm like, if I DM this person and I'm like, can you please help me? Suddenly I look like I'm a bad streamer that couldn't come up with them themselves. But dude, if there's this fucking magnum opus that can help you, why, like, it, it you shouldn't be like undermining that. It's like awesome. Like, that's awesome. It's awesome that you have that there in place that people can help you. Like, I think you should take full advantage of it, seriously. Like, as much as, you know, you're succumbing to expectations about fucking mental health or whatever, or you're breaking your pride, when you're already past that point, you're gonna reap the benefits so much. Like, it's it's really, it's really cool. Like, seriously, it, it, will, it will help you in the wrong, long run. As much as it's a scary thing, it, like, it, like, it will help you, and it will be awesome, and maybe you won't feel as bad about yourself, and that's, that's sick, you know? 
That's that's great. Sorry, every single time. <laughs> oh, I'm happy if you guys are a year clean on stuff. That that's that's a sweet message. Uh, but if it's because if you're like. I'm a year clean because I watch your streams as much as I'm pleased to get that. You know, guys, you guys know me. Oh, you saved my life, blah, blah, blah. Dude, you saved your own fucking life. I'm going to be real with you. All I do is talk to a camera every day. Okay, let's be fucking real. I'm really proud of you, and that's awesome that you're a year clean. But that's, that's like your own achievement. You shouldn't be putting down your achievement to someone else because maybe they helped you a little bit. Like, if you run track, and you get the 100 meter world record, and you're like, I'm the fucking sickest dude ever. You don't go to your coach, and you're like, you made me. Your legs made you. You made yourself. You're like, I persevered and made went through all the struggles to win this race. And as much as maybe the coach was there to keep you, pu like, pushing you... Like you, you're the one who ran the race. You're the one who made it through it. As your max is your advice for that one. Is it nerve wracking when you go to school thinking about if someone might recognize you? Oh, this is about me. Or to know that you're friends with streamer friends. Yeah. It's really nerve wracking because you're like. Dude, if you're like a bad person, you've just been gifted the most insane fucking gift of for bad people. If Tommy Hitter goes to your school and he's trying to be all secretive about it, suddenly you're like, oh my god, I know his school. Like, that's that whole part of your life that's just been ripped away from you. Like, ripped privacy. And yeah, but the truth is that I'm like... You know, as much as I, apart from the fact that I have faith in people that find out that I'm a streamer, like, as long as you go to them and you're like, I don't want you to say this, they probably won't say it, you know? Like, most people, as much as they're, like, rude or annoying, they, like, they, like, get it, you know? Especially in a world where we're, like, a lot of people love social media and, like, they'll understand, like, dangers of being popular. As much as- Wow, I really don't see myself as popular. That sounded like I was right up my own fucking ass. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm popular, and my life is at stake because of this. In this video, I got Carl Jacobs to get make me a Carl grilled cheese, and I served it to all of my friends in school, until one of them discovered that I'm friends with Carl Jacobs, and then they fucking doxed me. There you go. Guys, this isn't, um... <laughs> You're fucking framing me again! You're making me look like a bad guy on social media! This is not what I said! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> That's not what I said, man! Now I look like the villain! How to deal with anger? Dude, everyone's angry sometimes. Just like, I think Rambu said this. He was like, like beat the fuck out of a pillow or something. Or like, you know, if you're angry, pe leaving in isn't good. Sometimes lashing out is like, okay, you know? As much as people won't like you for lashing out on things, like if, if people are around you and they understand, like if, if you're like, like, if I join a call and I have the worst day of my fucking life and I'm so angry and, you know, all this stuff. And John A, like, says hi to me. And I'm like, I, like, actually, like, dig into his fucking brain and, like, dissect everything and make fun of every single thing. As long as, like, you're after, you're like, sorry, I was really angry. Like, people will understand. Like, people, you know. 
if you letting go of emotions instead of penting them up is really important uh sometimes it's okay to get angry and lash out people because they understand or your pillow will understand you know i love john a please don't and that's your first big mistake man i understand why you're in the I meant to be serious today. Serious, serious, and not. <sighs> no more mocking people. Sorry, guys. What do you do if it's one of those days where you can barely get out of bed? Don't. You know? Like, seriously, because the the idea that it's one of those days gives the idea that there will be a day where you get up and it won't be one of those days. You know? Sometimes it's like, like, stay in and, like, it's okay, you know? Like, don't do anything. Like, sit in your room and fucking eat ice cream for all I care. Like, it's okay to, like, just sit around for a bit. I'll get in trouble with school. Okay, that's a little bit more annoying. Um, because they do that. Schools do that. Well, like, I really don't want to get up today. I really don't want to go out or see people. And then they're like, you're going to have to. And they fucking put this megaphone to your mouth. And they're like, yeah, everyone's going to hear what you're going to say. You know? Uh, because school isn't great or fun or anything. But... Um, apart from the fact that the advice that I gave you earlier is going to contradict this one. But also sometimes, you just have to fub it. <laughs> I know that sounds dumb. But, like, you know, and maybe firming it will, like, maybe, maybe you go to school and you're like, I really don't want to be out today or anything. And if you don't want to be out or putting yourself out there or anything, you go home and you stay on the bus, you have your fucking headphones in, and you're not talking to anyone. Go home, sit in your bed, and sleep, or watch your fucking Wilbersoot Law. I don't give a fuck. You can still spend your day in your room and, like, not wanting to get out of bed. Like, school is just an autopilot bullshit thing that you have to do. Like, you can still go home and, you know, be okay and, like, just sit down and, like, you're, like, it's fine. It's fine to go home and not be expected to do everything. I do that loads. I go home and people are like, dude, chat, on the day, the last day of school, someone came up to me and he was like, do you want to go out with six of our IRL friends and go out fucking uh, having fun and like eating and like going, going back to someone's house and like probably partying? And I looked at him and it was one of those days and I went, no. And I put my AirPods in and I listened to fucking Caliuchis and I went on my fucking bus and I went home and I sat in my bed for two hours, got up and streamed because people and your life outside of your, you matter more than everything else. You know? Who gives a fuck that you're not going out with your friend? Or you're not finishing your, like fucking, you wanted to make a note of something or something. It doesn't matter doesn't matter as long as you're okay and you're doing if you're doing the bare minimum that's more than enough Autism and masking. Okay, I I'm not Magic is not qualified on talking about this, um, but I can give you something that's happened to me about masking. Um, sometimes I'm gonna be honest with you, masking around the people that you love the most is really bad. And as much as you want to do it, because you're like people might not see me as normal or whatever, dude. Someone that I know that is like about to get diagnosed uh with autism like they haven't gone through with it but it's like the site like it's it's there like they live with it every day they came to me and they were like yeah max when we talk i i still mask my autism and that like like i don't have to like 
maybe this sounds dumb, but that like really hurt me. I was like, like, like maybe it made me a bit sad. I was like, you know, like I can't believe that you you've got to that point where like you're you're you have to mask yourself in front of everyone. Like, I don't uh, like. I'll, obviously, I'll never understand uh, masking yourself in front of other people like that, like in public and stuff. But with the people you love the most and the people that know masking like as much as you want to do it like it you know it's like it's like people people love you and people will be friends with you no matter whether you're masking or not because you're just like a you're just them to them you know and uh, okay also like like it's like it's if they're if you're so deep in that connection with someone and you're still masking to them i don't think like i think you should just try it out where like you show it off a little bit like in the in the in the most in like maybe this is really backwards of um what i've been telling you but like it's cool like you know show it off a little bit like show people that like you're you're different like like you're an individual and you know, people will find that so awesome. I'm serious. As much as people are fucking annoying and dumb, and they're always fucking shitting on people, but like it's so fucking annoying. Seriously, I mean, like I I never understand people who shit on people like that. And um, you know, it. Okay, this is something that um, maybe like like I think a lot of people experience this. When I was younger. It just came from, like, a place of ignorance, but, like, I didn't understand. Like, if people make jokes about it and stuff, and I'm like, oh, so that's meant to be funny? But, like, dude, in, like, the last five years, I've learned a lot about, like, neurodivergent people and, like, people around me that have it. And as much as, obviously, we should teach people to get against the stigma, that's very important. But, like, you shouldn't be destigmatized of showing how cool and awesome and different you are to people because of the the pressures that society gives to you it's like important to be yourself seriously and i understand and i i really understand this where you know people will constantly shit on you repetitively for you know being different that's like i get that uh, and i know this is never going to be comparable ever but a lot of people like like really trash me in person because i'm a streamer and stuff and like people really because I'm a little bit different to, like, the normal person who goes about their life and studies and gets through their education, goes to uni and stuff. I have something that's, you know, makes me a little bit different to the average Joe. People will always shit on you. And people shit on people because they're different and that's fucking awful and they're dumb. But you're, 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 you're awesome. I keep trying to say you're sick. You're awesome. And you should really, like, like, show it off to people because people will find it cool. I'm serious. And that's why I was hurt when someone was like, you know, I mask around you because I'm like, why, in what world would I think like that? Like, that it, it's bad. Like, it, I think that's, I think that's great. And, you know, maybe this is an assumption they're about to make, but masking with people, uh, you're still showing, like, yourself. Like, you're still, like, imagine you're restricting your personality to something and, like, you suddenly show this new flurry of fucking personality do you have like that's that's so fucking cool that's like um I, I don't know how to put this into words um that's like having like being really good at a sport and going your whole life not playing that sport and everyone you know thinks that you're shit at this sport or whatever and then you're like boom i'm good at this as well as being this and the people were like, holy shit, like, that's cool. Like, I think that's cool. And I think that you shouldn't, because people might see you as a little bit different. Your personality is, like, fucking, like, I think it's awesome. I think people are awesome. And I think, you know, show it off a little bit. Seriously. Because as much as there will be always these people that are fucking ignorant and make fun of you and stuff. There are people there that think it's awesome. And people there that, a lot of, a lot of people you know, accept it, like, it's okay, it's okay to be neurodivergent, like, it's, it's all right, seriously, uh, obviously, I think I kind of detached from the thing about masking and stuff, but with the people that you're closest to, I think, 
let yourself loose a little bit. That's my. Well, I'm I'm really um I'm really uh treading on egg like I'm not treading on eggshells, but I'm trying to be really careful because I don't want to. Obviously, this is something I can't experience, so I don't I don't want to like make you guys. You know, I'm like trying. If you can't tell, I'm a lot. I'm speaking a lot slower than I usually do because I'm trying to think about what I say because I don't want to like make people feel bad like that. But it's dope. It's dope. Seriously, I've already answered this one. I'm coming up on two years clean from self-harm on October the 2nd. I'm very excited about my accomplishment, but it feels like fake. Like I'm milking it for attention. How can I be proud of something without feeling like I'm attention seeking? That's like more than like just the self-harm bit. That, that's, like a, that's like a deep like actual life thing. Um, you have to understand that you worked hard for something why and other people work hard for their things and they show off their things why should you be discouraged from showing off something that's awesome like that something something that's success in your life like you you've done this awesome successful thing about yourself and like you know maybe this like this can be as the slightest to be i got fucking twitch affiliate today i know i do everything about fucking streaming because i'm a moron but like Every, so many people are out there celebrating they're getting twitch affiliate maybe you're like oh i got a twitch affiliate and i'm making i like i'm i'm projecting this on people that aren't twitch affiliates but there are like like people are going to be excited for you people think it's an awesome accomplishment to be clean of self-harm especially like that is really 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 like that's not like a that's like a really strong thing to do seriously uh, you know, to break that kind of cycle like that is really, really awesome. And you should never feel discouraged about showing something that you're so, like, so successful in. Uh, because you fear that other people will judge you. Uh, because, and dare I quote Jay Schlatt here, which a lot of people don't like. But I think he said one of the realest things I've ever heard. Why are you going to let the people, the people in your life that have no effect on you dictate how you live your life? If you think that these fictitious people are going to make fun, are, are going to put you down for doing something that's so fucking cool. Like, it's not, it's not going to happen. Like, seriously. People aren't going to put you down for your fucking success story. Just like, people aren't going to put you down. If you're like a single mother, and you've raised this incredible child, and sustained this incredible life, even though it's been so hard on you, and you're 15 years like after your child's has moved away be like i'm a single mother and i did this and this is awesome people are still gonna be like fuck yeah like that's cool people are gonna be like you fucking suck because of it like that's that's really 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 cool and you should always be prideful pr prideful of things that like happen in your life because if not you're always going to be living to this in like unreal expectation you know Wow, Max G's went on a tangent there. Sorry, guys. What topics haven't you covered? I don't know. I'm just scrolling through them. I have issues with being open about my sexuality. I'm scared that my friends are going to see me differently. Uh, firstly, and I hate to break this one to you, people who... People who... People who are... They're likely to be around people like them. That's like a very normal thing. That's like why gay friend groups exist, you know? Like, the likeness is, the people around you are fucking gay. But apart from that, it's like, what are they to judge who and who you're not attracted to or how you want to lead your life? Okay, they're your friends. There's, there's gonna be another friend in your in your life that's gonna be like, that's fucking dope. You're gay and that's awesome. Like, okay, whatever. The, like, maybe these people... But they're gonna learn to live with it. They're gonna have to fucking live with it. If they're gonna stick out and they're, your, they're friends with you. 
Like, you, they're gonna have to fucking firm it. And that's not your problem, because that's not something they that you can change, but that's something they can change, you know? Wow, that one was real. Um, really struggle with self-harm and suicidal thoughts. This one, trigger warning. Sorry, guys, I forgot to say that before I rubbed that out. Um... I really don't know. I never know. I've never known how to talk about these things. Because I'm like, you know, it's not a, like, I've, honestly, I've never had a spell of depression like that. Um, but, like, I know it sounds really cringe, and maybe it's better because it's coming from me because I'm a streamer, but, like, it does get better. Like, it does. It, it's like, I love this analogy that XUC once gave, apart from the fact that he spewed fucking hatred in front of his girlfriend in front of 120,000 viewers. Oh my god, the drama there. You're so lucky. I could have gone about on about that for an hour. Apart from he's been a really wrong guy recently. <laughs> he gave this analogy, which is like, if every single day that you stream, you put your name in a hat to be drawn out to have, you know, an awesome day, one of the days you're going to put enough names in the hat where like you're going to be drawn out and you're going to be like, this is fucking awesome. And this is the reason the life is worth living. The more days that you live through it, I think, the more likely you're going to have a day and you're going to be like, you know, maybe you go out, maybe, maybe you're depressed, but this day, you know, you're really like pushing through it and you go out and you see your friends and you're like, and, and suddenly you're there in the moment and you're like, oh my God. I have these people that love me around me, and I'm ha I'm I'm you know I'm having fun. You know, depressed people can have fun. That's like a normal. That's that's like real. And then you're like, this is the thrill of life. You know. So maybe the times are hard now, but there'll be a point where like you're living and you're like, oh my god, this is awesome, and that's what's life. What life is worth living for, the the moments you have which are just. Holy shit, this is awesome. And maybe it won't come for years. Maybe it'll come for months, weeks, years, days, seconds, minutes. But at one point, you're going to be like, this is awesome. So stick through it, seriously. And also, see a professional. I know I spoke ser like recent, like earlier about like your people are prideful in that and they don't want to like submit to like, you know, needing help. But see a professional. It's important, seriously. Pe people will be... And also, a lot of people are like, oh my god, I'm really sad. Like, what if no one cares if I died? Dude, people will fucking care. Like, I'm telling you, people will care. Seriously. There's always someone that cares. So. Um... Gender dysphoria, I'm sorry. I, you know, out of all of the other ones, I can like grasp the concept. I can understand, you know, all the other things that I am sorry. I can't understand gender dysphoria. It's like the one thing that like, I will never be able to get because I don't get it. And I know that's maybe a bad thing to say because I, you, I can't relate to you like that, but just push through it and the gender that you're so badly wanting make steps to be that you know like if you if you like you know if you if you're male and you're like if you like okay if you're male if you're not male and you want to be male in the you know in the in the way that it works technically like you know, take small steps to, like, be that. You don't have to become male instantly, but seeing yourself change, it will help, you know? Seeing yourself become the person that you want to be does help. That's, that's, that's real. That's, that's the best I can give, I'm sorry. If it's not, you know... Okay, that's 
hold on. Is there a form for this? Yeah, but like, um... Sorry, I blanked out because I was reading something. Yeah, but I'm just like going through them. They're from my Twitter. Did your issues with your acne ever affect your self-confidence? Yeah. Uh, how did you deal with it? Um, <laughs> maybe this isn't the best one. Uh, makeup. Um, I have genetic cystic acne and it gives me horrible facial dysmorphia. Um, yeah. How am I gonna put this simply? With acne, I think it's a lot, a lot easier to put into practice, uh, because everyone, like everyone, gets it, and I understand gen uh, gen body dysmorphia and stuff. Uh, obviously, I've been there, but everyone is so police. Everyone is so caught up on their own acne and their own fucking like like body shit that. As much as it won't help being told this, like they won't, they don't care. Like they don't, they don't see you differently because of some fucking spots on your face or like a lot of people have like birthmarks that they're really uh, scared to show. Like, like the, those people that you think are judging you have the same thing. No one is living there, leading a perfect life like that. Like it's, it's like, it's like fine. It's like fine to have acne. And when I was told that, I like that like helped me a lot. I was like, you know, everyone has this and everyone has days where they break out and they're like, fuck, you know, I look awful today. And it's okay to say, I look awful today. It's okay to feel that because, you know, there'll be a day where you look good and you're like, let's fucking go. I look good today, Jake. But like, it's fine. It's fine to think that you're like, you don't look fine, but everyone is like, and also, this is something that really helped me. Find things in yourself that make you think that you're great. You know, everyone's a beautiful person in their own. That's so fucking gay. That was the, maybe the gayest thing I've ever said. Um, but like, I'm really into dressing. And like, when when I when I dress well, and people tell me that my that I dress well, it takes a little bit off. Like, you know, maybe my face doesn't look good today. Like, it kind of takes it away like that. You know? And maybe I'm not dressing well, because I look like the spawn of Satan quackity viewer who cries when Slimesicle dies. Today. But, like, it's, it's chill. Like, it's chill. It's chill, man. Find things in yourself that you think are awesome and accentuate those things. Motivating yourself to work. If you find something that you like, do it. That's the best thing. And reward yourself. Oh, something else I can't really speak on is eating disorders. Um, but I do have someone really close to me in my life who has an eating disorder. And it's pretty bad. Um, and I realised... If you tell someone that you have an eating disorder and you're like, you know, I'd like you to help me. Like, this person I've hung out with and they're like, you know, I only want to eat this certain type of food. Or I can only eat, I can only eat these type of food. Speaking about it makes them so happy. Like, if they're, if they're delivered on what they wanted, it makes them really happy and it really helps. And as much as eat, having an eating disorder is something that is like really really bad and you know you'll struggle with it a lot if you go to someone and you're like i can only eat these things and they help you you'll be like someone understands and that's good that's really good and you someone said uh because i feel guilty dude i promise you that's like i'm gonna make an analogy here that's like being diabetic and going to someone and going, I need to raise my blood sugars. Can you please give me something sweet? But feeling guilty about that, like they're there to help you. They're going to help you because that's like a that's like a normal thing to do. And it's the, it will be the same thing with eating disorders where you'll be like, I need I need help on this. Blah 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 blah. They'll be like, okay, like that's fine. Like people, as much as 
you'll feel like guilty about it. People are empathetic. There are empathetic people, and especially the people that are around you will understand. You know, that's the best advice I can give because I don't really struggle with. But also, see a professional as well. That's like a dietitian or something. That's important. You know, and you're not losing by saying that or like giving yourself up to being helped. I don't know how many more I'm gonna do today, chat. I'm going to be honest, I've had a, I'm on five hours of sleep and I'm pretty fucking uh, out of my mind. How do you find motivation to do the mundane things, especially whilst also doing content creation? Well, at the end of the day, content creation is, like, fucking awesome. Like, this is a dream job. As much as, you know, there will always be fucking people who don't like you and whatever. Like, this is awesome. And if if me going to the shops and getting my mum some chocolate or fucking raisins or whatever she needs for her recipe is the reason that I can go home and stream, like, maybe, to me, it's not as, like... Like, like streaming is like a, like a slot machine. Like, if I'm live, it's like me, 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 me. Like, there's always something fucking going on that I can talk about, and that, like people will always give me attention. It's like holy shit. But, like, like normal things. Are, like, you're just a normal person being a streamer. You know, it's just like a weird. And maybe it's because I go live and I'm like, oh my god, and like I don't remember anything. It's like a weird blip in my life. But, like normal things are still normal. To successful people and i'm not wow i'm really sucking my own dick again boo i'm not successful i don't see myself as successful but you know what i mean how do you believe people when they say i love you or something along those lines get it told to you enough that you're like okay they mean it the stress and anxiety that comes with being a content creator. Uh, yeah. <laughs> everyone, everyone is stressed all the time. And I feel like all the time people expect everything from me. And they expect my streams to be awesome and great and everything. And, you know, sometimes I do that and I'm like, ah, I'm awful and I suck. Or I'm speaking on something like this today. And I'm like being really careful, you know? And if I slip up and then my whole body is like fucking like like drenched in adrenaline when I'm like, oh my fucking god, I fucked up and this is gonna be something so bad in my life. And like like everyone's stressed when they're a streamer and everyone's anxious and everyone is comparing themselves to everyone else and nobody else everyone else is seeing mr beast and mr beast is doing 50 million views a day and he's the biggest content creator in the world and he's so creative and so mighty he has all the money in the world and everything and everyone's like oh my god i'm not as good as him and i'll never be as good as him and you're like oh my god i'm so stressed because i want to be the next mr beast but i can't be and it's the you just like content creators are going to always live with that but understanding that it's okay to sometimes fuck up and it's okay to go again like, it's, that's what gets me through it. I'm like, uh, but for the anxiety, dude, I'm just a nervous wreck anyway, so it's fine. But uh, what I've learned is, boys, can I get some jokes and shuffle this one? If you make enough jokes about everything, people think that everything you say is a joke. And that one is like the bomb. That's like, holy shit. That's like the magnum opus of Max G's. Everyone thinks I'm always joking, which is awesome. People believe he is Italian. I'm Italian. Going on dates with this girl I really like at the moment and I'm very insecure. If you're going on the dates, more than one date with someone already, you're, you shouldn't feel insecure because they clearly like you. That's the, the basis level thing that I can say. If you're like, oh my god, I'm so insecure because maybe they don't like me. Dude, if you've been on six dates this fucking month, they like you. They like you.
tips on anxiety. <laughs> this is gonna be the what This is about school and moving school. I'm sorry if this is the worst advice I'm ever gonna give you ever. But when dude, I treat everything like a weird video game mini game. If I'm at school and I'm like, ah, made someone laugh, made a new friend, I'm like, tick, 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 tick. I'm like ticking all the boxes in one day. If you set yourself little goals that you can do, and you're like, fuck yeah, I did that, and that was awesome. Uh, that's like, that's like, that's like, that's like dope. Like, that would really help you. You know? Like, I used to move schools a lot, and I used to be nervous. But I'm like, firstly, what I told you earlier, you get like, fucking false, uh, false, false pride. And then you go around, and you're like, what's up? Dude, I see people in the hallway that I've spoken to once. And I dap them the fuck up. I'm like, what's going on? And they're like, hey, man. And I'm like, I dap someone up today. Tick. And maybe you're worried about that. But putting yourself out there a little bit will do you a world of good. How to deal with someone breaking up with you because they can't do long distance. Now, can I get some easies in chat? Let me grab my romantic expertise to let you know for this one. Uh, uh, um. I have no clue. <laughs> yep, there it is. Mm -hmm. There it fucking is. Um, sometimes that's how the tide turns, man. You're gonna have to fucking live with it. Seriously. They're gonna break up with you. You're gonna cry for three months. And then suddenly, at one point, you're like, I don't even care anymore. And that will happen. So just stick through it now and it won't fucking matter anymore. At one point. Good ways to overcome a not great coping mechanism. I'm not sure about this kind of stuff, but... Find a new coping mechanism. Like, I know that sounds really forehead, but if you have, like, another coping mechanism, like, in your life, that's not bad, really fucking accentuate that every single time. Like, um... Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm trying to find, like, a... Like, if you deal with stress by smoking cigarettes, or... You deal with stress by playing Fortnite... Maybe you don't like Fortnite as much, because it's not as riveting. But as long as you, you know, it will help a little bit. I've had fucking coping messages like that. Po both equally poor choices. Yeah, but Topo does played Fortnite on stream today. He didn't smoke cigarettes, so can we get some drugs in chat? No. Blah, 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 blah. I was saying. <laughs> Find another coping mechanism in your life that maybe, maybe, and maybe this is, I'm going to keep my Fortnite analogy with smoking cigarettes. Maybe one day you smoke cigarettes 90% and played Fortnite 10%. That's more than 100% on cigarettes. That's already a good improvement. And just slowly, you know, incrementally. Find your coping mechanism that you can substitute. <laughs> this is something I should be laughing at. But the sentence, how do I deal with burnout as a Twitch mod? <laughs> it's real. It happens. It's just crazy to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Just take a break. Like, the streamer can understand if you're a Twitch mod and you're, like, fucking modding 600 hours a year. Like, if you take a little break, like, they won't care. I've had mods take two, three-week breaks, and I've been, like, okay. You know, that's okay. That's fine. That maybe we'll find you a little substitution for a while, but, like, it's okay to take a little break if you're modding every day. It's fine. 
And I always tell that to my mods. I'm always like, and maybe I'm just the greatest man ever, but I'm just like, you know, I'm like, if you guys want like a little bit of help, I'll do mod apps. I'll, you guys can take time off, whatever. I don't care. Like, I don't care. You know, streamers won't, streamers can understand. They feel what, they feel burnout. Maybe, and I don't want to put down Twitch mods here a million times over because they do the Twitch modding and the Twitch streaming at the same time, which maybe I'm uh, victimizing myself here, but they can understand burnout because they're there. Like, they get it. They've been there. Should I move to England for university or stay in Sweden? Now, you've come to the right advice stream. Uh, because... Here you fucking go, man. If you're watching... Ahem. Twitch chat, get your finest numbers out for this one. Yep. Yep, there it is. Where should they study for university? Whilst you vote for that, I'm going to go to the bathroom. made fun of me wearing a quackity jumper but I'm actually awesome because I'm wearing matching shorts but it looks like I'm wearing a fucking Las Nevadas jumpsuit I look like a fucking melt <laughs> I've only just seen myself oh my god dude holy shit uh, they said stay in Sweden thank you for the continuation song I'll do like uh, two more, I think. I'm terrified of missing out on teenage love. Dude, all teenage love is fucking cringe. I'm gonna be real with you. You're there, and uh, you're too nervous to do anything, and then you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna kiss this person. And then you kiss them, and it doesn't mean anything. Because teenage love is dumb. Love, it, like, teenage life is for, like, fucking being an idiot. So, and, like, living your best life. Like, you, you're not, there's not this incredible flower that's gonna blossom out of you if you fucking kiss someone when you're 16. Because no one gives a fuck, because you're all, every 16 year old is dumb and bad at it. It's not such a thing to be missing out on. I'm trying to find a good last one. These are just all ones that I've... These are all ones that I've answered. How do you deal with your friends shitting on your hyperfixations? All my friends get bad because I talk about my hyperfixations a lot. Watch this one, chat. If your friends make fun of you for things that you can't control, they're not your friends. <laughs> I'm sorry to break this one to you like that. Um, dude, people are fucking spieling me their whole hyperfixation ordeal of the, like, all the time, but even if, even if I don't understand it, or the words mean nothing to me, I'm gonna listen, because that's important to have people that are gonna listen. Like, 
they're not good friends if they can't understand that that's not something that you control. Why are they shouting in my fucking house? Sorry. It's not my house. I'm sorry. The house. Do I have anything to talk chat? I think I'm done. Do I have anything to talk about that's uh, detached from this? You know me Toby wants to box me during October half term for a fucking stream? I might be boxing at the end of this school like sixth sixth semester or whatever it is. Half term. Dude! I'm gonna fucking kill him! <gasps> Holy shit! I'm turning my stream on sub only and restreaming it. Sub only viewing, not chatting. And also, Johnny called me yesterday and he went, Max, let's go to, um, let's go to central London to go clove shopping together. And I was like, finally, this guy's go, he's, he's got his money up from selling E. coli burgers that he can go and buy some new cloves so it's not that fucking. Guns and Roses shirt every day. So I'm like, okay, JKS, I'm gonna bring John A clothes shopping. I brought him to four shops in an hour, and the only person who bought something was me! I bought a pair of blue trousers! He didn't fucking buy anything! I went outside the whole day to London just for me to buy some fucking trousers and for him to do nothing! Anyways, look at them. They kind of eat. I think they're pretty nice. Yo. Did you have fun? I did have a lot of fun. Guys, can I get some pleading emojis for my little date that I went on? Uh, let me read out some things. Reebok, thank you for the gift of the sub. Anyone for cake, thank you for the six months. Um, Sarah May May 2002, thank you for the two months. Uh, Ash, thank you for the 20. Uh, Luna Allium, thank you for the three months. Thank you for the raid, Stardust Scotty. Uh, Jumbly, thank you for the tier one. Qua uh, I S2 Quackity, thank you for the two. Two months. Um, KT1819, thank you for the five month resub. Malzut, thank you for the 11. And Finn, thank you. Oh, wait, no, I've read like back. Okay, I read like three old subs as well. So you're welcome. Thank you, guys. Chad, did you like the stream? Tomorrow, we're back to making fun of. I'm not live tomorrow. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, I'm not live tomorrow. I'm sorry. Uh, it's because. Do you want to know the real reason that I'm not live tomorrow? Do you want to know? It's because at the peak of the Queen's funeral, I want to be there to tweet, like if the Queen was bisexual. Why is- What the fuck is James Marriott calling me on Discord for? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... <laughs> uh... Hello? Okay. I don't know what that was about. Okay, though. Oh, can we get some lol W's? It was probably funny on his stream. He wrote you a haiku. Can you send it to me on Twitter? I want to read it. Now you feel awful, you fucking cunt! Yeah, it's fine. I just ended. Like, I literally ended one minute after, like, before you said that. <laughs> what a fucking dickhead. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, does anyone have that poem? I kind of want to read it. We couldn't hear him. He picked up and he went, are you doing your mental health stream? And I went, yeah, I'm sorry. And he goes, I'm so, so sorry. I don't give a fuck. And then he ended. <laughs> the fucking goal. Oh, I'm sorry you couldn't hear that. Because it was actually incredible. Dude, that, that's like his thing, the mental health stream. And then he went, I don't give a fuck. And he just hung up. And I was like, okay. Um, yeah. Chad, did I give good advice? Stop copying me, your entire, my entire flow, but worse. Really, James Barrett, really. Because half of James Barrett's stream ideas I've already done before. The only James Merritt idea I've ever stolen is this one. Like, actually. That's it. I mean, no. You're gonna say the song or band thing? I did that before him. Smash or pass Disney people? I've never done a smash or pass stream. Mm-mm. I did them all before him. All he does is, guys, you don't realize that Bad Linu is the blueprint and we all ripped things from him and I just stole from him as well. <laughs> that I stole from him last year. So he's just stealing things that I've already done. I'm kind of the goat, you know? Can I get some, some drakes, some humble drakes, I fear? Thank you, though. Thanks for the... Okay, I'm changing my title. Hi! Next stream is moving in with Rambo. <laughs> Guys! I'm moving in with Rambo! Oh my god! And is anyone really excited about this? Raid? It's not him, is it? Yay! James Marriott! Thanks for the 2,000 viewer host, man! What the fuck? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna do the thing! I'm gonna be a meta streamer! Hey guys, it's Max G stealing another idea from other Twitch streamers. Um, your name's on the screen, so if you follow, then your name shows up on the screen. Look, I did it, guys! I did it! I did the thing! Thank you for the sub, by the way. Oh my god. Do you know this is so awful? This is like the worst money glitch ever. <laughs> People work years to get these followers. And I'm sitting there with the, your names on my screen and gaining more. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's awful. Hello, James Raiders. Um, everything that he tells you about me is a lie. I never, st this is the, actually, the mental health stream today was the only James Marriott idea I've ever stolen. Can I get some Drakes in chat? Yep. Yep. Do they know what Drake is? Now, this is a good question. Wait, they're actually in the know. Oh my God. If you don't know what it is, uh, do you know, do exclamation mark BTTV? I'm helping you out here for the other streamers as well. Um, if you want to learn a few emotes, I think James has like a few. Uh, but you see these animated emotes? What's a really flashy animated emote that I can show chat? Like, um, can I get some, I don't, can I get some vibes? That's a pretty good emote. Uh, that they'll, it will show some motion and stuff. You see like, these little animated emotes? You can see them on your chat. If you download the Chrome extension, it's not a, it's not like a fucking computer virus or anything. Everyone's favorite streamers have it. Fucking, um, what the, I'm, I'm watching James Marriott. Who do I love to watch? Wilbur Sutter. They have it as well. You know, he, he probably has it. 
Toby has it, Ran has it, Amy has it. Dude, everyone does. Is this an epilepsy warning? I don't think so. This is just an emote thing. But there are some emotes that are like, oh, you said flashy. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Will doesn't have it. And so, uh, what in chat, if I've already won against Wilbursuit, Max G's BTTV won Wilbursuit 0. I've won. I've won. Psychologically, I've already won the battle. Uh, he will never, he will never win. Uh, Swissy, thank you for the two months. You're the person from Twitter. Hi. Yo, my chatters, did I give some good advice today? Are you guys pleased with my advice? Are you okay? Was it alright? Maxi is winning a fight. Okay, I've got a question for you. Now I'm asking non BTV chatters to do this. Can I get a nodders or a nopers in chat? Or a yes or no if you are not in the know about it. Have you ever been in a fight? Chat? In a real fist fight that ends in real pain and real consequences. No. I've been jumped, okay? You know I almost got stabbed once, that was chill. The guy ran across the football pitch trying to chase me and he was like, I'm gonna fucking stab you. And then and then I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I told the school and he just he got suspended and that was it. I was like, okay. It was chill, like it was chill. It's like a little, I'm like a little walking fills a donation. All I do is spout fucking trauma, but it like mask it as a joke. I love your hair so much. Thank you. Uh, I think it looks uh, dreadful today. Not to shit on your compliment. But it did. It, it looked pretty uneven for a, for a second. I'll come down to Brighton and fight you. I don't live in Brighton. Yeah. You see that? Hello from the soot mods. Hello. Man. Dude, I'm sure you little Jew SMP mods must love me because my favorite thing is to type the most absurd shit in their chats because they'll never see it. But I'm verified, so some people will see it and they'll be like, "What? Why did he say that? Why the fuck did he say that Joe Biden hates Wilbur Soot? But he, Wilbur Soot will never care, you know? And that's like my favorite little bit. I go into Toby's chat and I'm like, Toby says no to the vaccine mandate. So the chat is like, why did you say that? Toby's never gonna see that. He doesn't care. Hashtag Tubbo, I hate Joe Biden. It might be real. You know, he might have said that. He definitely didn't, but... Hi, though, guys. Hi. Wait, can I get, like, a... Mods, can you put it on five-second slow mode? And I just want to read if I recognize any of these fucking James Marriott viewers. Hold on. Can you say hi to me? Am I gonna recognize any of you? Oh wow, that was fucking fast. Laura, I know you because all he does is make fun of you. You're like his Millie. <laughs> You're not gonna get that joke, but <laughs> yeah, that's like, yeah, yeah. Jesus, there's a lot of you. What's that one that always gives James money? They follow me on Twitter. Um, and they have like a name that's, it's not how you pronounce it. Are they here? Yeah, them. Are they in chat? Or do they, do they hate me? Following since seven minutes ago. Can I get some Jake S's? They're here. They spoke a little bit ago. 
Jake, capital S. That's for you little non knowers Aren't I accepting of the people in my community? Oh. Yeah, you've come off. You've come to this stream at a weird time. Usually, I have loads of these jokes that I can make, but um, I did a mental health stream. I mean, fucking hell! What an awful thing! And now I'm trying to be like my normal self again after being serious. You know what fucking scared the shit out of me yesterday? Oh my god! I got up in the middle of the night to get a glass of water, and I forgot. I hung a. I hung a fucking. Green suit on my door Dude, I woke up. I thought there was a fucking green person next to me. It was so bad Like actually I fell to the floor with fucking fear. It was horrible but There there's a green suit on my uh, On my wall. I thought your stream title was a joke. What hi? No, I'm sorry Thanks for the money man Oh my god, it's Dream! Oh my god, it's Dream! No, the other one. No, it was real. <laughs> the Bosnian Devil. Guys, don't tell them about the Bosnian Devil. Dude, these are James Marriott viewers that are like 14. I'm sorry if you're not 14, by the way. I didn't mean it. But dude, I'm not gonna tell them about a person who scratches their walls. Like, they're gonna get angry at me. Thank you for the two months, Starjoy. And Laura, thank you. Or Laura, or... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm Italian, so sometimes I do I do say that. I'm 15. Please don't tell me your ages. I was joking. I bet the average James Barrett viewer is older than my average viewer because uh, he was in the E-Boys for six million years. You know, chat, do you want to know a wholesome story of when I met James Barrett? Do you want to actually get wholesome for a second? Do you want to be nice, have a little sweet time? I ain't a light thing with the tier one. Uh, the first time that I ever met James Marriott, uh, after I'd spoken to him maybe once... I, uh, I went up to him in the partner lounge at TwitchCon, and he went, Hi, Max! And he was, like, half asleep. I woke him up, basically. And I was like, Hi, James! Can I sit next to you? Let's talk! And he was like, Okay. So I was speaking to him, and he was like, So why are you a content creator? And I was like, you know, I used to watch a lot of people like you and Will. And then he got really happy. And he was like, oh my god, really? And now you're a whole content creator. And I was like, yeah. Uh, so that's our little joyous moment of friendship. And now he goes on stream and bashes me every day. And I don't even have anything to bash him about. Because everyone loves James Marriott. Because he makes music. No one gives a fuck, man. And I don't have any material to bash him on. Because it's so easy to make fun of him. But to make fun of me, but not him. I'll make fun of him soon. I'll do a stream ripping into him, I'm telling you. You know what else I wanted to do? I wanted to do a tier list of what streamers are the best dressed. Because I feel like I'm I'm someone who is capable of saying that. But now I feel like I'm incapable of doing that. Because like that's rude. Like what if I'm what if I made Tubbo badly dressed? Because it's like his that he needs to get that fucking flannel surgically removed. And then he gets angry at me. So I can't make that's another personal thing I'm not allowed to make a tier list about. I'm not allowed to make streamer tier lists anymore. Like, Becky Mon, thank you so much for the raid. Hi. I hope you're well. I hope. Guys, can we get some drinks to chat? Becky Mon did a hashtag ads today. The flannel. Dude, Tubbo is like a weird Sims generated person, but you tick out all of the game files about clothing. Like, every. People say that I reuse the same jumpers too much. He spawns in every morning with the same outfit. Every time. Like, love Tubbo. Yesterday he wore a jumper, a new jumper for the first time. And it was like we fucking found God on Earth. It was insane on Twitter. They were like, I love, I love his jumper so much. His jumper was like, it said like, keep going. Thank you, Tubbo. Thank you for wearing a keep going jumper in lilac. I'm so happy. I'm so happy he's not wearing a flannel today. Yay. Uh, but yeah, I think I've done enough. I was actually ending stream as I was, um, <laughs> as I was there in, um, in, uh, as you. What do you mean stop talking shit about Tubbo? It's my mate. I'm allowed to do that. Stop talking shit about 
Dude, I actually live with Dream SMP fans. What the fuck? <laughs> That's Violet. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm taking Monday off. I'm also taking Friday off because it's Violet's 13th birthday. Can I get some JKSs in chat? Uh, I'll be watching Dan Howell live. So I might get to meet Dan Howell, which would be cool. Um, but yeah, I won't be live on Friday. Wait. I have a question. Uh, this one's just for the um, James Matt reviewers. I'm testing the waters here. Uh, you know. Dude, all the James Matt reviewers are like, I love car lights. Like, you're gay, man. There's no way you like the queen. I'm sorry. I just I have to make sure about this before I, you know. Of course we don't. Your name's Swissy Lovejoy. I know you don't like the fucking queen, man. You didn't even have to vote in the fucking poll. Wait, that's so fucked. I mentioned James's top gifter once, and they primed to me instead of him. <laughs> no, that's so bad. Dude, shut the fuck up. Scalate, thank you for the prime. I don't know if that's pronounced right, but thank you so much. Uh, it's like something else, like something different. But thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, chat. I think I'm going to call it a night now. Cool stream, huh? Cool stream. Anyone anyone love when I give advice? Any loving advisors? Any loving advisors? Thank God. Thanks, Erin. Guys, this is Aaron from the Dream SMP, and he's making fun of me. Do not watch him when the Dream SMP reboots. Look at me, I'm about to farm some followers, guys. This is, um... This is my chat, this is where you type, and this is where you follow. If you haven't followed already, please follow. It means a lot to me, and it means that maybe one day, when I drop out of school, my parents will let me. Because I'm 16 years old. I turned 17 in one month and four days. It's pronounced Scarlet, Like Scarlet. Like the name. Is that right? Scarlet, Similar to the name. Yes. Ah, uh, you see that? You see? You've done that. Don't worry. I get it. You're talking to a guy who speaks three languages. Okay. I understand language. Uh, I think I'm gonna raid Rambu's live, right? Fucking hell, we have like 900 people here, shit. Uh, yeah, let's go say hi to Rambu, I think. I never get to raid him, he's fucking always live when I'm not. Which is a good thing, by the way. Can we get some fi a final Drake in chat? Thank you, Rambu, for not going live whilst I'm live, usually. Means a lot to me. Means that Max G the Max G's foundation can continue. Thank you, G um, James Marriott, once again, thank you so much for the raid. As well as Becky Mon too. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much for the subs as well. I hope that I was really being careful to make sure that I was, you know, covering all the bases and, you know, giving some good advice. Uh, we'll be back Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, probably making fun of you guys again, as usual. Join up the raid. A lot of you guys, I'm sure, um, love to raid with James Marriott because you're little attention whores. Uh, in my channel, a little bit different. I'm not a big fan of that. You know that red emote tomb raid where you raid and they're like tomb raid, tomb raid where you spam a chat. Please don't go spamming a chat when I raid someone. Uh, just go and say hello. You know, interact with their stream like you'd interact with mine. Stick about because it's Rambu. Who doesn't love Rambu? Don't go spamming tomb raid. I mean, if you want to, you know, stop free thinking and go for it. 
Uh, but I'll be live on Tuesday. If you ever want to catch me live, chat, 6.30 p.m. UK, which is 1.30 Eastern, 12.30 Central, 10.30 West Coast time, 7.30 p.m. Central European time. If that's your time zone, you can go here to the schedule section on Twitch. It'll tell you in your time zone for you what time we live every single day. You know, follow, turn on the little bell. If you haven't, that would, be, that would mean a lot because the notifications have been breaking recently on Twitch. That's real. The big streamers have been saying that, so that's real. It's canon. Uh, so please check that you have the notification bell on. Also, if you ever want to catch me live, and though if you ever want to catch me anywhere else, my little username, MaxyGs, you can find me literally anywhere. Instagram, MaxyGs underscore. Twitter, MaxyGs. YouTube, MaxyGs. Instagram, MaxyGs. Uh, TikTok, MaxyGs. Fucking everywhere, man. So if you want to catch up with me, keep up with that. Uh, also, during the Queen's funeral, the MaxyGs viral tweet, like if the Queen was bisexual, is coming out. So you don't want to miss that. Have an amazing one, alright? I'll see you on Tuesday, chat. Bye-bye.